everybody. It's Friday the 23rd of April and it's episode 23. Uh, no, 73. Can't even read me writing. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Hiding behind the screen. I mean, I've got a seven clearly written. I've obviously got 23 and 73, two numbers. Well, it's the 23rd. It's St George's Day. So you've obviously got yeah. that on the brain. Yes, yeah, happy St George's Day. Um, oh, the sun's gone to your head. The sun has probably gone to my head. More like it. Yeah. I did have to have a quick nana nap about half an hour ago. I was completely, I was awake at five o'clock this morning and I literally just was like, I need to close my eyes. I just needed to shut my eyes for a quarter of an hour. It was shattered. So how are everybody? Together we are, what is the answer? You'll know that anyway, because you've just seen the big sign, but... Um... We hold the sign up every week. Um, so for people who've never joined us before, um, we used to not do this live and um, we used to put a little introduction at the beginning. It used to have our titles and then at the end it used to have how you could contact us. So now poor Dominic gets a short throw and has to sit there with the board. Sit there with the board next to me. So, um, hi Mandy. Hello. I mean, I'm not expecting many people today. I'm expecting you all to be sat in the gardens exactly. enjoying the sun. I know, it is glorious out there. So um, I've been sat out this morning a little bit and doing a few jobs, but yeah, really well, warm. Out of the wind, it's lovely. I've got, I was busy all morning and at 12 o'clock I thought, right, if I don't go now, I'm not going to get out before we podcast. So I got ready. I got myself a little backpack. I mean, Scooby's trying to get in. I've locked him out. Um, what my backpack is knitting in. I'd got um, my drink. I'd got a bag of crisps. I was going to find a nice bench. I was out about five minutes and thought, that wind's really quite cold. I'm not dressed appropriately. And I was in three quarter lengths and a T-shirt with a vest underneath. And it was cold out of the sun. So I was out for about 20 minutes, turned around and came back. In the garden, out of the wind, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, I was going to say, in our garden, it's fairly sheltered, so it's been... It, at one point, I had to move into the shade because it was too hot to sit in. So, but, uh, but out and about, I'm not... Honestly, today, I thought, oh, it's, the sun's beautiful. I'm just going to go to my favourite spot, take some knitting, take my drink. Well, I needed a fleece, and I thought, this is silly. So yeah. I came back and sat in the garden, out of the wind, and it's been lovely, but... It's, it's weak because it was warm yesterday. I know we did knitting yesterday and you said it was, I was really hot yesterday. Went and sat in the garden again because it's sheltered. It was really hot, really warm. But the wind, the, uh, the last two days, the sun has been hot and the wind has been icy. Yeah, it does. But I went out yesterday and I needed a fleece. But anyway. I'm in I... a dress today. I mean, goodness me. Oh, wow. Well. Baggy summer dress. I'm beginning to think that this must be what they term what was it they call it a buffet dress because it's absolutely got no shape whatsoever. It's like miles too big for me. Look at it. I mean, look, but it's just a, it's what I call slobby dress, not a buffet dress. And I've just gone three quarter length jeans and a t shirt because this is how I've been most of the day. I was I was very warm, so I thought I'm going to put a dress on today. I did, I did change my T-shirt because it was my old T-shirt because I've been dying. So I thought, oh, we'll change my T-shirt. Brushed my hair. Made an effort for everybody. Did you have a nice facial the other day? Oh, yeah. I was saying to um, Rebecca, who does them, I said, all these people that have been, you know, queuing to get into shops, queuing to get to hairdressers, I said, they can have all of that. But I just want, yes, I needed a... Facial and a relax. So Good. she did my eyebrows so I can show people my eyebrows now that not been done for four months. Um, and then her, I get a back massage and then a facial. So it's like an hour and a half treatment. It was fantastic. You so facials, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I probably will only have one every two or three months, but I do enjoy them. Yeah. Um, but when, yeah. When you booked in at the hairdressers, then have you got a hairdresser's appointment? Yeah, 21st of May. Oh my lord. I mean, everyone, I mean, you all know us now anyway, but at those that really know me, no, I really don't care about this. No makeup, 
hair slicked back just doesn't bother me. Your hair looks very good, very glamorous today, actually. It does. It's been in pigtails all day. Um, and then last night, you won't be able to see, but last night I was, oh yes, I was cleaning out the cupboard and I found one of them wash in, wash out sachets. Oh, uh, do you know, I was just thinking, have you put a colour on it? Well, it was aubergine. And I really, I really like my hair white, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I used it as a shampoo. I literally poured it out of the packet, lathered yeah. it, and then was washed it straight out. And it's obviously caught in little bits. It has, it's got like a nice sheen to it. I couldn't tell whether it was just the sunlight. It has got like a shine to it. Yeah. Yeah. But I did, but you can still see lots of the white. Look, but, I'm leaning in, so if I can see any better if I lean in. Oh, yeah, you can. It does. It, it looks nice. So, but I didn't want to just throw it away. So instead, I just used it as a shampoo. But anyway. I mean, oh. Spooky, you've, you've demanded to come in the door and now you're grumbling, for heaven's sake. It's supposed to be outside with David and you obviously <laughs> wanted to come in here and listen to the podcast. Bless you. Yeah, wanted to take part exactly hello everybody um yeah well i was saying to dominique i've got a finished object and a, a something else to show but apart from that i've got much i have got a few things that i can call on if we run out <laughs> but dominique assures me she's got lots to talk about today so i'm just going to sit here and just be just drop my pencil. Um, quiet um here it is my finished object i mean i could have worn it sat here and worn it but i think it's a slightly Slightly warm. Yes, let's see that. You have to actually stand up. So you will see the shapeless buffet dress as well. So here it is. This is. I finally got a cardigan. Marion and Kath. May not be the barrel, but it's the barrel wool. I have finally got a cardigan. I mean, there should be a big drum roll for this, shouldn't there? Right, so I'm going to just do that. Um, oh, I've got cramp in my finger. Right. I mean, this is the uh, magenta. I mean, it is. I think, like me, you know, I could get another person in here. Right, so. Um, Wednesday Dale, what long will Aaron in magenta, and I'll link below, an hour coral reef, and it's the Sunday cardigan. So look, I mean, I wanted, oh. I wanted it nice and... Oh, Sunday dressing gown. Long. So, yeah. so it covers my bottom area. Um... I'll come in in a minute, in a bit close. And again, I'm like, I'm like you. I don't like them to. I mean, it, I didn't, I didn't block it either. So I think if I wanted to, it could go a bit more. So I'll come back in a bit. Oh, right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. So, I mean, look, the, the neck's too big. Probably need to take this dress in and do something with it. But I just love it. I love the colour. Um, I mean, there's loads of room. You know, when you're stood up, it doesn't look as though there is. Enough room, but I didn't you block it. You can't put buttons on it. No, I didn't block it either. So I do think that if I blocked it, it would go. I didn't want it to make it too big because I quite like how it fits at the top. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm never ever gonna fasten it. Ribbed. I mean, I blocked mine, but that was just to even the stitches out. It really didn't change the size of it. I wanted it more like a cortigan, you know. Yeah. You know, just to like throw on over the top. But I yeah. Wanted but the only thing is, everywhere there's like this pink sheen of the little bits of fibre of the wool. Um, but yes, so it's finished. I've got a cardigan. Yay. Well, I don't know anybody that's knit the Sunday cardigan that's not liked it. Yeah. but it's... I've seen it done in kind of lots of different colours, lots of different yarns put together. Um, it's just such a wearable, well, I think it is, such a wearable cardigan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it is, it's definitely a um, more of a winter cardigan because it's a... Yeah. Aaron and two lace weight, so it's, but it's um, a cardigan. I have got some um, cotton yarn I was looking at, like thick cotton, chunky yarn, and I didn't know whether to have a go at it in that and just see what it, what it knits up like. Well, I never. I gave you all my cotton, didn't I? I've not knitting yeah. cotton. My idea of cotton, but I've not had the experience. Is it gets so heavy and just yeah. drops? I know it might do that. So I think unless but, I put it with a wool, don't know. 
No. I've got some that I bought for a project. I think I was going to do a test this of something. I can't even remember what it was. And I, did, I didn't do it in the end. And um, so I've got all this pink cotton. Um, I might put it with navy. Do it with like a lace weight. And that might, because there's no giving that. It's like a silk. Yeah. You know, you mine in the silk packer. Yeah. Um, then there's no giving that. It might, has it anyone might, with cotton? It might jump it together, might it? I'm sure it's pure cotton or is it cotton and acrylic? I don't know. I'll get the wool out and I'll, I'll show you next week. But it, I fancy putting it with a dark colour. It might be. That's just my, in my head, that's cotton, but I could be completely wrong. So let us know in the comments if you've knit with cotton and would it make a good Sunday cardigan? Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy. I got it, got it cast off, and I, what I, all I did was just steam it a little bit to open out the top bit. But I didn't want, like I said, I didn't want to do it too much. So I think it could. I didn't wash it, so I think if I washed it, it would just go a lot, lot bigger. Well, mine mine didn't. I mean, I didn't wash it. I soaked mine to even out the stitches. But the size, I, I could have blocked it, but I didn't, and it didn't drop, so. Yeah. Oh, good, uh, good then. How much did you use? Do you know? No, I'll wait. I used 150 grams of the four-ply, I would say. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't, because I'd already, I bet I've only used over 100 grams of the four-ply, actually. Because I didn't start with a full ball, I used a bit, and then I, have, I probably only used half. Right. So just over 100, probably. And then I think I've only used about 400 grams of the... Of the Aaron. Aaron, if that, if that. So I've yeah. got buds left, to be fair. Yeah. I only ended up pulling out one section of the barrel cardigan I'd already knit, so I have got a load of it left still. So it can be knitted into something else. Excellent. Very nice. Um, so... I, I can't find. Do you want another finished object? Yes, yeah, let's have another finished object. Oh, they're, they're finished. Wow. They're finished and they're blocked and they're dry. They look wonderful. Really oh, nice. You can't see, can you? No, you can. Yeah, you can definitely. I like all the deep, all the the blue. You know, it's it's got. It's gone a bit darker in places. I like that. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Really, really nice. So they're the Paris socks. So um, these are Aprils. Yes. I, I was just thinking what you'd said last week about well, the colour of Rome. So Rome would be May. I've not yeah. even seen any of them yet, so I don't know what Rome's going to be like. But I just wanted these off the needle, so I'm ready to cast on on the 1st of May. Yeah, which nice. Next Saturday, so um, that is nearly. I mean, I've got, I've probably got three grams of the blue in a purple world left. I don't know if you can see. I that's mean, the hundred grams. That's two pairs of socks I've got out because I did the London socks in them as well. Yes, that's but right. I just lost the will to live. That rib is a lot deeper than I would do rib, but I thought. I didn't think I'd got enough to do another pattern repeat on the rib. In hindsight, I definitely did have. Um, and I spent two hours on Knit and Natty yesterday just doing the twisted rib for the um, top. Oh, no, it wasn't even twisted rib. It was just one by one rib. Oh, no. Thinking, I am knitting to the end of this. Yeah, and then I thought... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So I've got a tiny, tiny nugget left. Um, and I think... In hindsight, I'd have probably got the heels and the toes maybe done in the blue. Right. I wasn't sure. So that is almost, other than the heels and toes, that's two pairs of socks out yeah. of 100 grams. And it looks so different. I know it's the same colour, but the, the wool looks so different, doesn't it, on the other yeah. socks? Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I said, hadn't I, that I'd left the legs um, on this one. But I really quite like the legs yeah, I like it like that that looks really nice the London socks I did the whole leg and that pattern suited it but I think well for me this pattern just looks yeah I like it that looks really nice like that so um yeah I, nice. I cast, I 
yesterday, I, like I say, I'd done them on knitting natter and then I thought, I've just lost the world to live. Uh, otherwise, I think the, I could have probably put another centimetre of ribbon on and I thought this is, the ribbon's going to be longer than the leg at this rate. So, um, very nice. Nice socks. Well done. You've I mean, I just, I still think I somehow must have read the pattern wrong because I don't know how I've read the pattern wrong, but when you look at the picture, like there's, can you see? There's like... It does look completely different, actually. It, it looks completely different. It's like there's longer lengths of that. Yeah. And I just kept thinking, two or three times I'd looked and thought, this doesn't feel right. And I thought, when I've blocked them, maybe yeah. it's because... They don't look the same. That looks as though there's more holes in yours than there is in the pattern as well. They just don't look the same. So, but, I mean... You created a new sock, Dominique in Paris. Ah! Uh, you have gone wrong. Oh, for heaven's sake. You've so only made a pair of socks. I mean, I can't show you because it's a paid-for pattern. I mean, I have looked at this about four times while I've been knitting them thinking it just doesn't look right. And is it not right? No, because the pattern is in two columns and oh, I've only oh. column. You clap. It, it looks like you've got more holes and not enough, like the cable. It's not cable or whatever it is. That's, I mean, how funny is that? I mean, Dominique, you should read the pattern for heaven's sake. I know. The thing is, there's two, there's lots of different sizes, so you pick your size. I have just... You've done one half of it. I've done a six row repeat, and it is, it looks like an 11 row repeat. Anyway, they're the Paris socks. They're my version of the Paris <laughs> Every time I've shown them on the podcast, I keep thinking, it's the only time I really look at the picture and keep thinking. Don't look like that, does it? Don't look the same. Maybe when I block them, it'll change it. Oh well. They look still really nice. Though. I like them. Oh They're well. Still nice. And I still really like the blue in a purple world. It yeah, happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Not reading the pattern. I mean, I'm not joking. Every time I've gone back and I've looked and thought, no, I've absolutely the pattern's right. I've just not seen column two. So just because... remind me, did you do a tech editing course? But do you know what? It just shows you how you get used to different patterns yeah. because it underneath it is the next um, size. Right. I mean, I think I've said I've only printed out the pages I need. It's like a 15-page pattern. The thing is, though, you sometimes and, just read the bit you think, don't you? You just read yeah. it and then you don't look anymore and you just keep going with it. And, but I've just not looked on the second column. Paris I mean, isn't so I like it, Stuart. But anyway, there you go. Guess what? I'm not ripping them out. No, well, I'm, they look nice. But you do. I really like them still. It's like when you read, if you're proofreading your own work, you read the same mistakes, don't you? Because you just have it in your head that that's what it is. You can't, you can't do it. That's what you've done. You've thought, I'm doing it right. I clearly don't like patterns that are in two columns. I mean, the pattern is brilliant, but there is so much information there. It's overwhelming with 15 pages of pattern. I just want to be able to read. Anyway, that's a pair of, that's a pair of socks in three weeks. To your own semi sort of design that you've created. Not, not, not the pattern, but no. you know. So you didn't do the whole pattern all the way around the leg and then you didn't really do the pattern either, did you? So you've I did half the pattern. Yeah. You've done half a sock, half a pattern. Yeah, yeah. so it's fine. So it's half a Paris. I mean, it's maybe like just... It's the Paris box. Leon or something <laughs> like that. Not quite Paris, somewhere else in France. But let's see what the Rome socks are going to be like. The Calais socks. I'm nearly there. Perhaps it's Paris, Texas. That's exactly what it is, Claire. <laughs> Paris, Texas socks. Oh, my goodness. What are you like? Um... Before I forget, I just wanted to tell everybody, um, 
Can you remember we were talking about um, when I did some steaking on a cardigan and everybody was saying where had I done the course from um, and also when I did a finishing course online with um, Yarn Addict Danny. Yeah. I an email today and apparently she's got 10% um, off everything in her shop at the minute and also on the online courses. Um, and that's over the weekend because she's doing um, a couple of um, virtual wool shows. So I thought I'd mention it because I know you'd all asked a few times about the courses. So there's 10% off at the minute and they're really good courses and you oh. get to keep them, you know, and yeah. you can back all the time. Um, yeah. So that's I'll, I'll put a link down below for if you've joined us later or you want to see it. So, uh, um, yeah, 10% and the coupon code, Dominic will write this down, is spring 10. Um, so... But I think she'll be advertising that across her social media as well. The number 10? Yes, one zero. Um, Joanne's saying she found the pattern a bit jumping around for a beginner. It, it, I think she's, she's tried to hold your hand through absolutely everything. And in doing so... Made it too wordy and too detailed. Yeah, because there's about... I've just thrown the pattern on the floor. But there must be six or seven sizes. And the pattern's written out, charted and written out for all them. So, so I didn't read it, but it's not the easiest pattern to read. So learn from my mistakes, people. If you're going to do any of these socks, just maybe cut out the bit you need. Yeah, and stick it on a piece of paper. Yeah, stick it. Out. Yeah, sometimes that's the best thing to do, isn't it? I've yeah. done before with patterns that have got charts. And then like the other bits that you need to follow, I just cut the bits out and stick them together and make my own, you know, so I can understand them easier for me. So you know what you're doing, yeah. Yeah. But maybe I should just not do patterns that have got two columns. Well, I like that. Jo said she sat in the garden winding the spring meadow midi minis ready for knitting. <gasps> oh, oh. perfect, isn't it? Don't get in a knot, will you? Don't, please, don't get in a knot. Yeah, no, minis, you can't get in a knot with minis. Sorry, yeah. Joe. I don't want to tempt fate. You can, no, because I could. Um, so um, I've got one other thing that I've cast on, but you keep going. I'll show that for later. If you've got, you've said you've got loads to talk about. I mean, I've got another finished object. Oh my lord! I mean, and you've been, and you've been dying. Have you slept? Obviously not. Um, is this what? This is stunning. The colours <gasps> in that Dominic are absolutely gorgeous. This is still slightly damp. So the two colours, rib at one end is one. This is a test knit. I spoke about last week. It's a test knit for... Um, Beanie Boat. Yeah, Nikki at Beanie Boat, who I test knit the Chiron socks for. And those of you that bought them seem to really like them. Yeah. And as soon as I saw on Instagram that she was asking for test knits again, I mean, this, this was not planned at all, but just her... <coughs> I really like I can't show you but they're on one page progress boxes so even when it's repeat rows whatever they're still progress, the box. progress boxes still say then like rows seven eight nine ten you know up to where you need to go and yeah very clear um so when I saw it I thought I'm gonna have a go it's a double knit cowl 40 grams of each that's all you need so that's why it's only taken me a week because it's 80 grams of double knit. That's fantastic, isn't it? But I mean, I love it. In fact, it, I saw it when, when you were starting to knit it and people, because obviously we share the same, um, what is the answer? And um, I kept seeing that. I thought, oh, I'm so tempted to just join in and do it. And I thought, I haven't got time at the minute, but that looks so nice. And I'd picked two other colours uh, because Nikki always asks, share your yarn, what colours are you doing here? And I'd pick two. And you know, these are my two favourite colours. And I just thought... Is that inside out now? No, so that's still the right way. It was my focus had gone. That yeah. Is beautiful. It, really like it. So you, the two columns are raised because they're your mosaic stitches. Um, nice. But, knitting, uh, yeah, the round. knitting the round. I mean, this is TV knitting at its... Absolute best. Perfect. Or knit and natters or yeah. Zoom calls or whatever. So um, she's hoping to have it released the 1st of May, so next Saturday. Right. Um, I mean, I've noticed she's not said, but 
when she released the socks, she did release them pattern for a pound. So I'll let you all know next week. Um, but if you've got two, you know, two contrasting colours, 40 grams of each or there or thereabouts, and you fancy a quick cowl, I know it's sunny and, the, but. Very nice. I, I'm going to knit more for presents. Yeah, they're really pretty. I, like, I really like the pattern. Simple but effective. And I suppose like with anything, you could just keep going the pattern. So you just keep going until you're yeah. nearly out of wool. It would make a nice jumper, that pattern, Nikki. Well, I think Nikki said she's going to do potentially hats and gloves or mittens to go with it. So I think um, it would make a lovely jumper pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. But yeah, so it is, um, and it will be a flattering because if you did the did it going that way, you know, I think it would look really nice as a jumper. No, the other way, that way, look really flattering. I like that. Not not as easy to work no, out. Probably not, but it is. But you really could nice. do the yoke in one colour in a plain colour, and you could have that once you've yeah. done your increases. Yeah, really nice, like that. Very nice. So that was. A really quick knit but it's called the navigation cowl and I will post on our social media to let you know when it's been released um and if it is next Saturday I'll um good I'm gonna do it I'll let you know I'll let you know when it's released that I is still really it. work getting in the way it's ridiculous <laughs> you look hot and bothered there do you is it are you a bit warm? I'm a bit warm. You know what I'm like, once I get warm in the sun, I can't cool down. Um, oh dear. Um, and I shouldn't put a double knit cowl on. No, probably not. Probably not. So they're my two finished objects for the week. Well, do you want to see my cast on? Yeah, let's see your cast on. So this is, I think I showed you the wool a few weeks ago when I got it. So oh this, yes this is the hobby yarn that i said i would try out which is so it's similar to a sheep piece share piece scare piece whatever we're calling it so it's um 52 cotton and 48 percent acrylic um what it, color is it yeah i knew you were gonna ask me that i think it's something just, tropical isn't it, it is, it's color number zero or five right i'll find it and it's the honolulu Honolulu, that's what I was... That's not the name of it, that's the no. range, but the colour zero five. 5, I can't remember what it was called. And it was something tropical. Um, is that the right... No, that's the right way. Thank you, Claire's saying it's already listed, the Navigation Cow's already listed on Ravelry with a note it'll be released on the 1st. Oh, brilliant. So this, it's a lacy leaf, sh and it's called the Leaf Shawl by Nicola Green. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really quite nice to knit. So it's going to be lovely when it's blocked. I haven't, you can, it, it's really good because it's an eight stitch repeat. So you just decide on how many um, stitches you want to cast on. I've gone for the smallest width. That's the smallest width one. Right. So it's going to be quite wide anyway. But I think if I'd wanted to make it bigger, there was another, was it 16 or 24 stitches to go on there? Well, to me, that's going to be big enough. Um, and I'm just going to keep going until I get fed up um, and make a nice baby. That's really... And is that done in like a whirl? Yes, it's done in... A, in the original one was done with um, Scapey's whirl. So... Um, yeah. So you will get... You will get a full... You can just knit till you get the end of the whirl. So you, you either get fed up or, you know, um, but I like the idea. I want. Yeah, so it's really, I'm doing it again, showing it on the wrong side. So you can, you probably can't see there. You start to change the. Oh, no, sorry. Slightly. No, you can't see. Ever so slightly, it started to change into a slightly darker shade of the teal. Right. Um, it's ever so subtle, which is nice, because when we were talking about it, I think it was Sue that had started knitting it. it that's where I got the pattern from, Sue. Yeah, um, Sue. Um, Sue Holmes. And um, we were talking about how some wools you can get, and they're gradiated. Gradiated? The gradient in it um, is sometimes really severe, isn't it? It just goes from one colour to another. Where this, when you look at it, 
I can see it's gone from, you can probably, can you just, no, you can't really see. So it's gone from it being all the pale green, yes. the one dark green, and now it's gone pale green with two dark greens in it. So it's really, really subtle. So, um, it's, it's, I mean, it, not all of them because some jump really, yeah, but the ones, completely. I, the ones I've used have done exactly the same. Yeah. You've got four strands of one colour, then three yeah. and one, two and two. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, seeing. I was, I was thinking which end should I start off with because I thought I really want the navy in it. It'll make me keep knitting or I'll get two out of it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. But because it's going to be so light and drapey, I think you'll just be able to. Yeah. When you can go on the beach on holiday in the in the, in the tropical sun and where you know in about five years' time I'll be able to use this probably. It, but it's really, really. I really like that pattern. I do have to think about it at the minute. Once I'm knitting the row, I can see where my pattern is, but I haven't got the whole pattern off in my head. You know what I mean? Yes. Once I know where I'm going, I can see the pattern. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the wool, and it was a lot cheaper than a um, scare piece. I think I only, like I said, I only paid about ten pound for that. There's um, not quite much wool in it, is there? Um, there is two hundred grams. A sheep is, is what between two hundred and five to two hundred twenty-five, I think. Um, and there is eight hundred and uh, eight hundred meters, and there's normally a thousand meters, isn't there? Yeah. So they are slightly smaller. Um, but I thought, it, I thought, yeah. I thought for the price, yeah, I'd give them a go, and I'm, I really like it. Yeah, I really like the yarn, so I might have a look at some more of their yarns. Um, they and they'll be different colours as well, won't they? Yeah, they had different colours. That's it. yeah, they had lots of different colours. Um, yeah. So yeah, looks nice. Oh, Christine said she, yeah, they do. I noticed they had free patterns on their website, Christine. So. Oh. I've heard of them before. I only put it in because I'd, I'd looked at the, the yarn, the um, scapees, however, I'm going with scapees, although it always sounds like scapees, I don't like that. Um, and there wasn't one I was particularly drawn to, do you know what I mean? Um, and I just searched wool like it, wool like the world, and this came up, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a bash for that price. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Dutch, isn't it? Did we decide it's Dutch? Yeah, it came from the Netherlands. Yes. Um, yeah. Really quick though. I think it was here within two two days. Yeah, really quick. Very good. Yeah. It is, it is that's gonna I do I do like whirls. <laughs> and they just seem to go on forever and ever and ever. Um I do I do like for me, they motivate you just to keep going till you get to the next colour change. Or yeah. there's, well, even if you're doing the same pattern, there's always something to keep you interested in, isn't there? And for me, I like this. It's got more acrylic in it. When I have tried to knit with the um, the whorls, I've just found them, for me, a bit too... Um, there's no giving the wool. Do you know what I mean? It feels a bit like string. It's not string. It's nice wool. Do you know? But it's got. It, it hasn't got that flexibility where this. It it doesn't feel the same. I can't describe it. It's a bit. It's a bit more plumper, and I think it's because it's got more acrylic in it. It's it's yeah, cotton. But yeah, me because I I did get a, a ball, didn't I, from um, Sarah number four, and I, I just couldn't knit with it, and I ended up throwing it at you, and you made me a beautiful shawl. You crocheted that was crocheted, yeah. yeah. Because I just yeah. couldn't, I just, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't like how it felt. Um, but I find that, I do find that knitting with cotton. Yeah. I think cotton's much nicer to crochet than knit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Where this feels, feels. Feels fully. Yeah, feels a bit more yeah. give, a little bit of, yeah. Yeah. Give it a go, give it a go. Yeah. Um, what else have you got then? Before I start what? doing things that I've made in the past, if we've got. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Oh, I mean, look. How many more things have you cast on? No, this is just... Oh. not done much more of this because I've been concentrating on them, but, I mean, just... I like that pattern. It's going to be it, the same sort of drapey thing that I'm knitting, isn't it, really? It's that type of... Yeah. Gone for similar effect type things. 
That's beautiful, the colours in that. I mean, I like how you're stretching it out with fingers like it's a... I know, well, I'm just trying to show you the width and it's just... That's what I've just been sat doing this afternoon. Really nice, that. It's going to look beautiful when it's... Um, look, it doesn't look much as you're knitting it, but as you pull it out, you can see how the... Well, that's the beauty of the drop stitch, isn't it? When you're knitting it, it always looks like a rag. Yes. I mean, because when, when I did drops in the ocean, it just, when I was knitting, I thought oh, it looks like a rag, but it's only when you pull it out and you can see the stitch on it, it's really... Because you can't really see as much of a wave, but when you block it, you can really see it looks And the like... colour you on it does look like a wave. Beautiful. Yes. Really. Yeah. So um, that is the Shimmer Wave Scarf. Um, by World Peas, W I R L E D Peas. Um, it was a free pattern, and I'll share it below. But nice, that's it. Brilliant. You know, so yeah, it's like a eight row repeat, I think. So oh, it, this, this is a. Well, it, it's a it's a twenty row repeat, but it isn't because you're repeating some of the rows above it. Right. Yes. Yeah. But really, you've only got your two rows where you do your drop stitches, yeah. and the rest is just knitting. Nice. Really? So it's it's just been nice to do. So now um, the test knit's finished, and I've got a week before the new socks come in. Um, I can properly sit and knit on this because it's it's easy knitting. I just see your mum's on, Pat. Um, Dominique shared the photo of your zigzag shawl. Looks really nice. I love the colours. The, it looked really muted in the with the mustard in amongst it. It looked really yeah. nice. Really nice. Well, Good job. It was a yellow. It's got all sorts of things, but yellow's in the... Yeah, it looked really nice. Wall, um, and it was one of our mustards that had got... Bits on. Funny colours all over it, but of course you can't see it, can you? It looked beautiful, it looked really, really nice. So, are you going to are you going to knit another one, Pat? Is it yes. Gonna, is it going to be like the uh, what was that shawl that we kept getting your mum to knit? Which one was it? Ridge and furrow. Ridge and furrow. Yes. Is it going to be the, gonna be the new ridge and furrow that you just keep? It's knitting? got the last bakery box. You know that last bakery box. Okay. We've got one left. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going through my stash to find something to put with it. Well, I might have something as well. Right, but that, that's what it's gonna be. Um, so, yeah. Um, shimmer wave. I mean, sure. you're being all efficient there, aren't you? I know. Well, it saves me having to watch it back. What else have I got? Yeah, don't listen to us do. I mean, I've still got three more product bags here. For goodness sake. Yeah, no. I feel like I'm drowning in this dress. Every time I look at myself, I feel like I'm like disappearing down it like this. Hello, I'm still here. I'm going to have to get um, my sewing machine out and take it in. Need some darts. I think it's um, the next, I've got three more project bags, but these are all projects in waiting. I've had a little, um, I sat with my folder, my very organised folder and went through it and got all my yarn out because I'm still trying to use up stash. Um, and then I've just picked out stash and patterns. So well, we'll do that. We'll we'll have a look at some of those and then I'll show you some of my jumpers with knit so we can have a bit of right. Thing. Yeah, we can have a bit of a show and tell. Show and tell, we like well, it. This is um I bought these, you've not seen these. Oh, I the them purchases that you're keeping from us. No. Not intentionally. These, I bought them when I bought your birthday present, your hedgerow yarn minis. Oh, right. Okay, we'll let you off. But I couldn't show everything until after your birthday, by which time I'd forgot. So I, I bought them. You could have shown those. You could have shown it. It's not my minis. I know. But I, what I thought was, I'll show all of the hedgerow yarn purchase, and then you showed your minis on your birthday, and I forgot. So I've had this since the beginning of March. but. I mean, that is a beautiful colour. It's a alpaca silk linen blend. Oh my lordy lord. 50% baby alpaca, 25% linen, 25% silk. 100 grams, 400 metres. And what's the colourway called? That is beautiful. The colourway is called raisin. 
Yes, I can see that. That is really nice. It is. It's so nice. So this needs a special. Oh, right. OK. So what have I gone for? We've gone for the trusty old. Oh, Lily uh, Oxida. And wow. it was Caroline was saying about she'd gone, looked at Heidi London, was knitting a Heidi Landra pattern. And I, I just thought I really enjoy knitting them. And I looked through quite a few of hers and I kept drawing myself back to that. So we've, we've both done that one, haven't we? And it is beautiful. It's a free pattern. Yeah. It, it's just, it's just such an easy knit. I know I've got one in a similar colour, but that might be a gift. I just. It is beautiful. That yeah. yarn to me needs something simple to show it off. Definitely. So that is. Um. Mum's saying, yes, she's doing another one. Love it. So that is to be cast on. See, I've got two things cast off, so I thought I'd just start well, planning. On Knitting Natter this Friday, this Friday, on Wednesday evening, um, one of our ladies showed us, um, I can't remember who the shawls were by, weren't they, with beadwork on, and we all went down the rabbit hole, didn't we? Are you have you got one of, you're going to show us? Yes. Right, okay, <laughs> I'll keep quiet, because that was... <laughs> They, they were beautiful, those yeah. shawls. Yes. Yeah, it's on my list, that to do. Definitely on my list to do. Yes. Um, right, show us one of yours then. Right, well, I thought I'd go down that memory lane and show you some of my jumpers that I've knit over the years. Um, so, which one am I going to go for first? Um, I'll go for... Oh, Lord. Right, I've got two... I've got three tin can knits. I'll show you this one. I've probably worn this one quite a lot. So this is in double knit. Um, a tin can knit jumper. I just... Well, you say it's a tin can knit jumper. It's using their recipe. It's not one of their yeah. jumpers. No, it's not one of their jumpers. It's from their book, Strange Brew. Um, and I just made it up. So um, it's got our double knit um, magenta. And then I put... I think it was a... I can't remember. Was it a king... Cool. Can you see it's got the the thread? It's like a sequined thing, isn't it? So I put that on the cuffs and so it's coral reef. And again, as we see, it's the magic of coral reef. So on the um, top bit, you get the, you know, the, the stripe effect and then it goes into this pooling. I love this. I wear this quite a lot. I mean, it's too thick to wear in this weather. I'm just looking at it thinking it'll go nicely with me, um, me cardigan over the top. That'll be nice and cosy. Um, but again, that just shows how the coral reef looks when it's knitted up. I well, that's a knitted up jumper. Yeah, when I put it on, I mean, I, I knit this probably in 2018, 2018, I think. You wore that for one of the first podcasts yeah. we ever did. Um, and I, I put a photo of it when I knitted it and somebody went, oh, it's gone a bit pooling, hasn't it? And I thought, yeah, I really like that. Um, it shows how different because there are people that really don't like yarn that pulls. Yeah, I love it. Um, it goes. With, I've got another four here to show, so I'll um, with another one then. Um, I'll give you another one. So another one I did another tin can knits, and this was using up um, scraps. Um, so this is oh, it. another tin can knits. It's not a pattern. She's not, just used the recipe. I've just used the recipe again, and this time. Um, I used, it was a sherbet rainbow on our Donegal base, and then I had mini, so you can see I've used pale green, the pale forest, pale navy, and the pale scarlet, and I just used it as, as stripes. Um, and again, you can see how the pooling goes, and I love it, I wear again. I've worn this a lot, and probably it shows you might have seen me in that, I've worn it. And they're both dyed, coral reef and that are both dyed in different ways. So it's not as if you've dyed them using the same method, but they're both pulled in the same way. Exactly. Um, and I, I, I really like that. And it's really light. Um, and although it's wool, um, it's quite cool. You know, wool's got good properties, hasn't it? It keeps you warm and it keeps you cool. So I often but wear you that. Had, you had to do this, didn't you, to make the yeah. uh, uh, sherbet rainbow go further? Yeah, I just... And I don't think I used much wool on that. I think I probably only used just over 100 grams of the um, sherbet rainbow because I was literally using up scraps. 
Yeah. Uh, it was like a scrappy jumper, but I like how it came out. And that was knit in um, 2019 because it was on Jane's birthday when I finished it, wasn't it? When we were away, because Paula modelled it for the photos. So oh. it was Jane's 50th. Yes. Um, so Paula modelled it for me. Yes. Um, Just talk about pulling people, and it's normally at shows, people will ask, they'll pick some of our yarn up and say, how does it knit up or is it going to pull? Well, we can't answer because what are you knitting? What are, you know, exactly. everything different. You've not done anything different no. than he's added to at the bottom. It's but the for the coral reef, you've not done anything yeah. different. The same yarn. It's the just the amount of stitches. Yeah. So people will often say, well, is it going to pull? Well, what are you knitting, you know? I'll show you on another one, which is even more dramatic. Um, another jumper um but yeah so you could be knitting a pair of socks and it would come up and it would look like it was self-striping yeah um but if you added a pattern into it it would change it if you did it if you knitted it bigger if you knitted it as a as a shawl you would end up with bigger stripes or it just we don't know because as everybody says it depends how many stitch count you've got your tension and if there's a pattern in it and lots of people love it to me. It's it's like, oh, what's it going to knit up like? The people are like that, yeah. but there are some people that want to know and don't. But well, that's absolutely fine because we can't say. Then you know they're going to buy something else. So we even did start off, didn't we, by doing um, like samples and doing it as um, bunting. Yeah, we have, we've got bunting, but again, you know, it just it's a bit irrelevant because it. You know, it, it only knits up like that in that in that one in that. When you're you doing two inch by two inch square, and we did socks, didn't we? We do, we started to knit socks in them, which showed you how some of them do turn up a bit yeah. stripy. Um, the socks are good if you want to knit socks, but if you're going to knit a jumper or a shawl, it's going to look different. So magic, it's the magic of wool. That's yeah, it, it really I'll is. Do some more um, work. So I know. I'll show you some more jumpers. So the next one, like I said, I have been going through, I've got still quite a lot of yarn and I've not, I know hedgerow yarns I've bought earlier this year, but I've really not bought much. Uh, so this is a pattern I've had for ages. I'm in the wrong season, but it's going to be a quick knit. A little headband. And it's a four ply held with a mohair, but you only need like 70 metres of each. I've got three balls of that. That would be too itchy for me on my head. I couldn't cope with that on my head. That would really drive me insane because I can't stand more hair, like anything itchy on my head. It's silk. It's fluffy. It would drive me potty. Um, but I've got three balls of it. So I'm like, what on earth am I going to... I mean, it's going to... Not even put a dent in this ball. That is gorgeous. Where's that from? Um, You've been secretly buying wool all this time, you not sure. Me. I mean, this I, is gone. this. What did I use this for? Was that from Sarah's? Oh no, I think this was from Wool Warehouse. This is in my first Sunday cardigan, my pink Sunday oh, cardigan. Now, clearly, I calculated it wrong because I've got three left over. And did you two strands. I did the first one. Twenty-five grams, and there's two hundred meters. Nice. That is maybe, a beautiful colour. For fifty, I don't know what I did, but anyway. So I thought that is um, that's got some silk in it. That was the from my midsummer haze shawl. All right. Is it mint B? That was mint B. Yeah. Mint B. Yeah. Um, Ooh. I mean, I just thought I'm just going to mix it yeah. up. That they was from... beautiful together. Oh, I would honestly, it's me because I can't stand it. You know what I'm like? I'd be itching. Me that was itchy. I did. I think it, that was another Heidi Alanda double. That was the Frozen River. Oh. I did the Frozen River shawl. That's a lovely colour with that. And I'm, I don't know. Oh, but... yes. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that was that I think that we've was had like a very colour wasn't it we did in the on the Donegal 
No, it's not Donegal. It's it's not. It's one that's been over dyed. It looks as though the bits I see now. It's the dye. Yeah. yeah. There's the there's blue and all sorts in. I mean, they might not go, but I thought, do you know what? I think they will. I think they'll give a lovely contrast to it. Really nice. I like them. So they're all anything that I've got. So it needs it needs seventy meters of four ply. So I thought, well, our minis are 85 metres, 20 grams. So anything that I've got that's 20 grams and over. Yeah, perfect. So I think that's 19 grams and the others have got plenty in. Yeah. But um, I that's thought it, it's going to be a quick knit. Yeah. And if you like it, I'll, you know. You can knit me one without more hair. Stick it in my Christmas stocking. Well, what am I going to put instead of mohair? I don't know. Use, use something up. I haven't got any lace. I've, I've got a nice big ball of lace you can have. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, well, let me try it first because I think the reason I I downloaded this thinking I am definitely going to do it, you have to graft them together Yeah. to get the twist. Yeah. So that's what's put me off. It's going to be a quick knit. It's how I... But do you know what? I thought... I just need to start trying using some, otherwise what am I going to use it for? So that's in my sweetie Christmas advent bag. I do like that. Very nice. Nice pattern. But, was it Tracy who was knitting those at Christmas time? It might, I mean, that's maybe, I don't know. Well, yeah, I do think it was. Which, um, Gainer tells from Cuckoo Land was knitting them last year. That's where I'd seen the pattern and got... I don't think I, you know, Tracy won't be on speed t um, work, but I'm sure, she, I'm, sure she I'm sure she was knitting some like that. Um, I like but, it. Yeah, I think I either bought it or downloaded it and then seen you had to graft it and then thought, oh, I can't be bothered with that. Now I think, well, I should just try it. 70, 70 metres is nothing, is it? It's not going to take me long to knit it, so... You'll have it knit by by the time you've had a cup of tea. Well, no, but just because I'd cast two things off, I've not got my zigzag to show you. Is I'm down I'm down to 11 grams of each ball left, so that's nearly done. So that's when I just thought... I've spent this morning just having a look and thought I'll get Is things... plans for your holiday? That's what I thought. I'll take it all with me. So I just wanted new things to go. So I've only got one more to show. So I'll let you go. Right. Well, well, while we're talking of pooling, I'll show you another jumper. So this is in four ply. And this is... Um, which one's this? This is um, fairy tale, And this is knit in um, Winter Rainbow. So again, look how it goes there. And this is just one ball of, you know, this is just one ball of wool. Um, so it goes like that. And then look how it changes again down the bottom because of the different stitch count. Yeah. I mean, it's just completely bizarre how, how it changes. Again, I wear this a lot in summer because it's quite lightweight. It's got lace round, round the bottom. So that is um, Fairy Tale by Knitting for Breakfast. And I knit this last year in um, lockdown. So that was knit in July last year, but it is really nice to wear. And that's winter rainbow. Yeah, and that is winter rainbow. Um, and it did go a bit bonkers after we, I, I used that, didn't it? Because... I mean, it, winter rainbow's all, always been popular. Um, in fact, sometimes it's a bit brighter. Sometimes it's got a few more, the blues in. It's just, um, have you knitted something in yours? Is that where? Yeah. But I've dyed it, didn't I? I dyed it. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, there. I mean, look at that. Look how, you know, it's as if... I mean, look at that. So... You has got the long stripes of the grey in. Um, I mean, I tell you what, that's as if we planned that, Dominique, isn't it? I mean, that's magic. That is magic. So that from the skein to the jumper, from the skein to the sweater... Yeah, well, just as you were saying that, I suddenly thought... I've dyed that the other day and it's yeah. waiting to go to your cake in. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's um, another summer jumper. But it was really nice and it was a really quick knit, that, actually. In the, in, the, in, the, 
it looks before it's twisted it looks like it doesn't the jumper once it's twisted up doesn't it's look different. anything like and once it's wound it looks completely and different it's, it? it's different which is weird because some people um because we obviously cake our yarn so it shows people will, they want to see some people want to see it in a skein yes you can't see what it's going to look like in a ball and you know it is it, it's everybody's different choice isn't it but it is weird how you look at it in that skein there and that's how a lot of people get used to seeing hand dyed yarn, isn't it? In those skeins. Yes. And if you wind it, it looks completely different again. Totally different. So, um, yeah. It's, it's another cool. kind of coral reef. It, it's got a bit of everything in it. So. You're having a G and T, Pat. Four o'clock, you're starting early. I mean. She's turned into an alcoholic. I don't blame you. I really don't blame you. We went to the pub yesterday afternoon. We had a takeaway booked um, from a um, Rocco barbecue came to the village. I think they come to Welton. I think they're there tonight. Oh my God, it was delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, we had tacos, fresh tacos um, with, um, David, we had chicken and beef. Um, and then we had um, some guacamole and some fried beans. Oh my, I tell you what, it was lovely. So we had an hour and a half to kill before the, our appointment to go and pick it up in the village. So it was sunny, so we just went and sat around the pub and had a few Aperol spritz, which was very nice, sat in the sun. It was very nice, very civilised. It felt like we were on holiday. It felt like a little bit of normality. It was nice because it wasn't busy, so it was, it was really nice sat in the sun. Scooby came with us and just sat there. Very nice. There was a um, Woodfire Pizza um, place in the village hall, yes, only because I went past it last yeah. night. Um, there was no... Well, I'll say like Sturton, that. you have to order, don't you? I think I've seen it at Sturton. You have to order it. You, not that one. You don't. You just turn. <gasps> so the that comes. Um, I've not been to any of them, but I've, as I've walked or run past them, I've seen them. Um, that comes, and then there's some one that comes and does crepes. Yeah. Have you not done the bread and cheese man? No. He's coming tomorrow to Wingham, and then he comes to Welton. Oh yeah. my God! He's the, it is gorgeous. The bread I is. I've seen it, but I've walked yeah. past it in the morning and there must be 25 people queuing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, no, no thank you. Sainsbury's are delivering my bread tomorrow. That's why I like the the um, the taco, because you couldn't just go. You had to book your appointment slot. So there was no uh, there. You literally, you just went and collected it. And, and I came. suppose that is, they're doing, preparing a meal, aren't they? The pizza. Yeah. You just go up and order, only because I've stood and watched. You go up and order, they chuck it in, and then you stand back while yeah. they're yeah. prepping. And it worked but, really well. It was really good. So um, anybody locally who comes to your villages, I can definitely recommend it. It was delicious. Right, was delicious. I mean, that has been something that's been a real. I say resurgence. It's not been a resurgence. It's been like all the like the bread and cheese bloke wasn't yeah. in business last year. Um, the pizza will have been, the yeah. crepes sure will have been, but I bet they only did events, didn't they? This guy's only just started in um, January. But the yeah. nice thing is, a lot of them, they're not like not like normal takeaways, do you know what I mean? It was proper, it was really nice quality food. Sometimes yeah. you can, like, get your dodgy burger, can't you, at the back of a van. And they're, you know. Oh, no, they are, because there's one that comes from Raisin, I think, and they're like home cooked Indian, traditional Indian meals. Yeah. Is that Curry um, Jacks? Is that the, what? Curry Jacks. Because we've had those, they're, they're really nice as well. I don't, I, don't reckon this, I thought this was like, I can't remember, I, I, that doesn't ring a bell to me, but um, there were just like six, it's whatever curry they're cooking and you can either have yeah. lamb, chicken or yeah. beef or whatever. Yeah. I, nice. Again, I've had them, I've just seen them advertised, so... Um, but have yeah. You, have you got another project in waiting or am I on another jumper? Or, I mean, sticking with the completely wrong season theme, this is not the best printed. The bread and cheese man is divine because it, it's from Welbeck, Welbeck Bakeries and the cheese is there for theirs as well. <gasps> Delicious. Yeah. He's on um, Facebook. If you're on Facebook, they go to different villages, and I think it comes to Lincoln as well. I think it comes to the. It 
put on the website where they're going to go. Yeah. Because they're at you for an hour tomorrow and they're at Welton between like 11 and 12. It always sells out. He obviously has a set amount that he only does at a certain time and it sells straight out. Yeah. People don't, if you don't get in the queue. Which is obviously why there's people, but I just think, no. Um, More socks. Yeah, but look at the cable. Are you going to follow the pattern on this one? I'm going to try and follow the pattern on this one. I just think they are. I like them. Who are they? There's on? lots of different cable patterns. And they are very seasonally called sleigh bells. Are you preparing for Christmas? I have just been through my... Well, you've seen my folder. It's like this. I've just been through thinking. I've obviously bought or printed these out and never got round to them and I thought well, and I'm trying to use stash so I'm using Ooh. our olive that's nice very very what bad label inside and then, well it's because I started the beach days wrap right. with this yeah 18 months ago and I've ripped it out so the bit I've ripped out, I've just wound around. Yeah. But when I knit this, then I can go back to knitting on the inside. So I've basically got all my stash out and then just gone through looking for projects to knit with them. But you're having a proper squidgy wool day. Every ball of wool you've picked up today, you've squidged. Well, that it feels really odd because it's a nicely wound ball that I've just done that. But I mean, who knows if they'll ever come to fruition but I've had a nice morning sorting them out Ooh. so the sleigh bell socks they're going in my Christmas bag that's good I mean I, I can see you like a very small child there you've had a very good morning tidying up and putting everything in nice little bags I can see it's cheered you up hasn't it you like hey, that I've just been getting myself you know sometimes you just need to go through everything um Judy's saying She's got all her patterns. Now, I'd like to tell you... Oh. Oh, it's Nordic Stitches. Right. Silver Bells by Nordic Stitches. And again, look. Simple patterns. We like simple patterns. Can't go wrong with a simple pattern, Dominic. Let's to read. Oh, right. Let's see. That's the last of my projects in waiting. I've got two jumpers left here. Both of them are in double knit. So this is... Um, Tin can knits, this time it's a pattern. It's the love note. Um, so I did this just in double knit. Um, so this is the scarlet, but this was when we did sort of a lighter red, wasn't it? Um, so again, oh, really quite that looks really quite dark on it camera. It isn't in real, it isn't in real life, it's quite faded. You can sort of see all the different um, colours in it. Um, I love this. I wear this quite a lot again. Um, I did it as a short sleeve, just because I couldn't be bothered to knit the sleeves. Um, so that's Tin Can Knits, the love note. I think everybody in the world seems to be knitting these, don't they? Everybody. Um, it was you, really, you really like yours. I, I've just, I've, I was never happy with mine. But I think it's because I like it with the short sleeves. I don't know. Well, I did mine with short sleeves. I, Maybe I just need to try and find something to wear underneath it to... Yeah, I wear a vest top underneath it. No, but I just don't like the short sleeve, so I think I need a long okay. sleeve top underneath. Right, I'm with you. Yeah, I, I'm pleased I knit it, but the love note, the pattern, you hold the mohair and it's all fluffy, yeah. so you don't see where your increases are. You can see everything, your short row shaping, it's just not very. Yeah. I don't know. You see, I I didn't do. I just did it in double knit. I didn't put anything else with it. I just did it yeah. on double knit. Um, and then the last one, um, which was it, this was the most bizarre construction of a jumper I ever did. Can you remember? Yeah. Tea leaves by Fiber Dreams. Again, I love this. And this is just in the um, in the Donny Gall that we used to do with the coloured neck. So it's undyed. Um, but it was the most weird construction. Um, but a I beautiful mean, pattern. 
nice, but it was very odd. It was odd. I couldn't work out how to even... I can't even remember now how you knit it. You, you like, knit, knit it sideways and you didn't... I remember how you knit it, but you ripped a load back and then yeah, you realised... I'd read it but... wrong. Yeah, I'd read it wrong. Because you knit the sleeves. That was it. Yeah, because there's no seam there. The seam's at the top. So you sort of knit it weirdly flat and then picked stitches up. It completely blew my brain um, when I did it. But I love the pattern on it. You knit it, didn't you? You knit too far, ripped it back and then went, oh, I could have just made yeah. that the back. I could have turned it into the back. And, it, yeah. and it's, it, yeah, but it's a beautiful pattern. Um, but it just blew my mind how you knitted it. Yeah. Very odd. Um, Grace is my first time, me. I'll just have to ignore her. She's in the middle of writing a final work and she needs me to proofread it. Oh, right. Right, so um, yeah, so that's my final amount of jumpers. As you can see, I do like to make short sleeved ones, um, only because I lose the will to live usually on sleeves. Um, so that's my collection of jumpers that I thought I would show you today. Um, um, catching up on the messages. Um, so yeah, I've um, I haven't really got much more i think i've got about three pairs of socks on the go so i'm still on with the shoe run socks but if i'm honest i really like the pattern i don't think it works in the wool i chose right um so what did you choose it was that um oh i can't remember that really woolly like nordic wool for my dad i'm i don't know i just don't think it's the right thing so what i'm going to do i think i might just knit them plain for my dad and I'm worried that they're not going to be wide enough because it only got, I've done the biggest size and I don't think they're big enough. Um, right. It only goes up to a certain size, doesn't it? So I'm, yeah. I think I'm going to pull those out and then I'm going to knit them for me just in, in, a, in a nice double knit. Um, I'm still on with the um, night at the um, night at the movie socks. Yes. I'm still on with those now. Again, I've lost the will to live on those. Like I've said, I don't know why I do it. I do patterned socks. And I don't like patterned socks to wear. Um, I like just plain socks, you know, with a contrasting cuff or whatever. Yeah. I just like knitting vanilla socks. So I don't know why I do it to myself. So I might just have to take a leaf out of Kathy. You know, Kathy, we blame you for this every time. But, you know, you did it. You, you've served us well. If you're not feeling it, why is it in, it out. Why is it in the north corner? Rip it out, knit something yep. you want. So I think that's what I'm going to do with all those pairs of socks. I must have four pairs of socks on the go that are all lacy patterned, cabley patterns. I don't like them on my feet. Why am I knitting them, Dominique? Well, that's that's the olive I've just shown you. The um, It was Tracy from the Grocery Girls wrote this pattern it was stunning. I absolutely loved it. Bought the pattern, knitting with it. And I don't think, I think I wasn't doing it in the right colours. It just didn't look right. And I was the same as you, it stalled. And eventually I thought, after, I think probably after we had our show and tell of what we'd got hovering in the um, project bags, I've ripped it out. Well, that was last year and that wool's been sat there, but yeah. it'll it'll get turned into something else. So I no. think if they've been languishing in project bags for over a year, you're probably not going to go back to them, are you? No, and I love the wool. I like the wool, but I'm just not feeling it. So I just need to just stop looking at the bags and get on with pulling them out and then leave them for a sock project. Yeah. Because I can crack on with socks. Quite simple, but I just, but it's, I just have lost all enthusiasm for them. Which is why I've sort of cast this on. I'm, I'm slowly getting to the end of my um, slip extravaganza. Yeah. Just a lot of stitches, and I just I need to just get on and finish it. But I was getting bored, which is why I cast that um, leaf pattern on, just because I wanted something, you know, that wasn't too taxing. Then sitting. Yeah. Four hundred. And the rows aren't too long either, so no. you get backwards and forwards. Um, yeah, talking about knitting atom, we spoke about it briefly. Um, under the olive tree. Under was, the olive tree, that's right. Uh, I say it webs designer, it's the designer's Gem Arrowsmith. 
but she wow. is under the olive tree. So she's got right. a website on yeah. Ravelry. Um, it was Jane, wasn't she? Jane's doing a yes. bead right. store. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. And, and Linda had already done one. So Linda then showed us hers, and then we all got on there. And right. we, a little bit like Heidi Alanda, she's just a designer that obviously appeals, to, well, both of us, doesn't she? Just appealed. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Like some of them were just very simple, weren't they? But with the beads on. Yeah, you can't really, can't really see. But one of them, it had um, beads on that sort of, um, they were like heart shapes that formed a flower. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. I think I might do that. Judith, well, how you? I, I, why do we do it? Why do we knit socks that have got patterns in? Well, I enjoy knitting them. Um, I, like, that, I just won't wear them. When, what's the point in that? But you just keeping them. Well, I won't wear them anyway, but I just enjoy knitting them. It's, it's the process for me rather than anything else. Um, so this is the Colour Me In wrap. I want to just try and show you this picture because this is obviously somebody's done, done it. Oh, nice. In a rainbow. That looks really nice. So it's a wrap. So the rows are really long, but yeah. it's not that deep. You don't have to do yeah. that many of That's them. Good. And well, would you believe going through my stash, I've hardly got any rainbow colours. They're all multis. Um, so that's one of the to-do lists. And then there was another one. I can't remember now what it was called. I can't you find. Like shimmering. You like the shimmering something or other. Glittering. Glittering something. Glittering path, I think. Or, yeah. yeah but it was just, she was a new designer to us, wasn't she? So we just thought we'd share the, the love of most of her patterns are... But, I could knit that one, I could knit that one. But that Colour Me In wrap, I just thought, oh, fancy doing that. Um, I, am, I am going to have to be a pain and probably draw this to a close because I have got mummy duties to do. Right, OK. Well, in that case, just I two... Have, I have proofreading to do before half past four. Why has she left it till quarter past four to tell you? Well, I don't think she has. She's been sending me messages and I've just been ignoring them. Um, and why she tried to FaceTime, I think. Right. Two I'm fine. I'll keep going. It won't take me long. It won't take me long because it'll just be spellings. Two things. The giveaway winners. Two of you have contacted us. Two of you haven't. So Beverly and Jean, drop us a message um, yeah. because we've not heard from you yet. Um, and then I was just going to ask, put it in the comments if you get time, but if not... Just, um, I want an easy brioche pattern, please. All right. So I've, I've always keep saying I fancy doing a brioche, so it can go into my projects in waiting, but an easy brioche pattern. If it's, if it's in double, not even better, but if not, four ply. Well, I've got that brioche book and there's some really nice ones in there, simple ones. Like yeah. Two colours, yeah. But i tell you what you would probably like, that one I did, Arrowhead. Was it our arrow leaf by? Um, yes, that was really nice because that was that was a really simple one to do. But what shape was it? Triangular, the one you like, the one I don't like. Right, yeah, yeah, that was a really nice pattern to do. I really like that. Yes, it by Knox Mountain Knits. Yes, it's in our Ravelry. Um, but maybe a cowl or something not quite as big. I don't know. Yeah. But something easy, because I've never done it before and I just fancy having a go. I'm looking at brioche book because there's some, there's like some sample cowls and things to do that gets you into learning how to do brioche knitting. So I bet there's some there. I'll have a look for yeah. you. Yeah, I've but just got really, really nice uh, multis that I just think, oh, with a solid to do a bit of brioche. So, um, very good. Oh, Arnie and Carl's posting brioche podcast this Sunday. Thank you. Oh, you'll have to get onto that then. Judith, you're a font of knowledge today. I'm pleased that you made yeah. Judith's doing the painted brick socks instead of using lots of colours. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Because the painted brick is very similar to that um, hexagon cowl that I did, that pattern. So very similar. Yeah. 
and that rap one. I mean, it, they're very, very similar, aren't they? Honeycomb. Yeah. Um, so. Right. Okay. I've got a couple of bits, and I can save them till next week. Well, no, go for it. I've, I mean, I've got. Yeah. Go on. Let me just show you this. That's come. I could be doing. I could be multifunctioning. Actually, I could be. I could be doing this, and I could also be. <laughs> that I found um, on the Crafty Dragonfly podcast. I saw this, and it's a artist mm. who is called Brooke Marie. So I ordered some bits. I, it came in this really nice box, and she's got her. I've taken That's some nice, pieces, really beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. Funny. I like that idea. Well, it comes... Oh, I've stuck the label to it. Uh, look at the thank you card. Oh, that's nice. That's the thank you card. A uh, uh, handwritten thank you for supporting a business. And I just ordered some... So I ordered two bookmarks. I mean, look at them little hedgehogs. <gasps> oh, they're really cute. And then I just ordered some cards. And I just thought they were, I just thought they were they're really, really nice. They're really, really pretty. I do like those. They're every, really nice. Everything is um, like biodegradable and one for a man, maybe, because you always struggle with men's. Oh, I like those. Do you know what they remind me of? What was that company that you used to be able to buy all sorts of different cards from? The Phoenix Cards. You yes. You find designers like that on it, didn't you? Look at that one. Cocktails. Oh, I like that. Very good. I just thought, I'd seen someone speak about them. I've got a couple of bits I can't show because they're going to be for presents. Just the designs. And she obviously paints them, watercolour paints them all. They're just, oh, can you see? Look, hedgehogs in welly boots. They are beautiful. So everything <laughs> came beautifully to shoot wrap. Um, wrapped up in string with a, a real leaf. I don't just everything about it, the attention to detail was stunning. Um, the card, oh, you can't see the cards have got her in I'm like, is it like embossed? Embossed, I like that, very nice. But I just thought, um, if you're looking for something slightly different for a birthday card. She'd got some prints. She'd got all sorts of things. But they just really appealed to me. Um, just the way they were. So I just thought, they came yesterday. I will share them. Um, and then when they came and how beautifully wrapped up and presented they were, I thought, and she's in the UK, um, British designer. So where is she? Um, York, or, nice. or the postcode's um, YO, so that's York somewhere, isn't it? Um, good. So I just I share the love. Really nice. I do like those. Very nice, really nice designs. Right. Sorry Thanks. to cut it short. I Thanks. need to just go and do. Right. Go and do some uh, mummy duties, which is a bit ridiculous, but. Um, uh, not We'll have to let you know next week. It, we might be an hour later next week. Yeah. Uh, because I'm going away. So um, we'll, let we'll, we'll let you know. So we'll be here, but we might be an hour later. So. Um, I'm stunning yourself. Maybe. Um, yes. Have a lovely week, everybody. Have a fantastic uh, week. Enjoy uh, the sun this weekend because it's going to oh, be nice. Yeah. It is today. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I'll put the links up when it goes live. Um, so, yeah, Claire said she's got all the cow shall in me. Thank you, Claire. Oh, perfect. Right. Have you got your board? I've got my board. There's the board. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And keep yeah, knitting, keep brushing, and we'll see you later. <laughs>